the inside into the gooseneck, but he disappeared out of shot at that point. So as they go through the hairpin then, we've got number 19, oh, Freddie Oh, catch up the mountain. That's at least, at least three bike or red flag. And the red yeah. flag surely will come out because yeah. there's been a, a multiple collision over the mountain and that looks a messy one. Uh, it's Four included bikes. number 25, Ben Gortry from Southport and there's yeah. number 65 out there as well. And uh, that's, that's definitely a major red flag Absolutely. incident here yeah. in the... There's a lead, ah, that's happened at the, that's actually, that's a really weird one. Somebody's got on, I couldn't understand why. Someone's gone on the grass and, Somebody's gone on the grass and tried to get back onto the tarmac then. Yeah, that's going down into Mansfield. I couldn't understand why the, the, the muck was going the wrong way there, Jack. So, uh, a, a somewhat complicated look at this, absolute turmoil in pit lane as these boys, that's where they began from, uh, of course, before they went on out on their sighting lap, and uh, it's a rather congested pit lane anyway, so complete mayhem down there as these boys try to sort themselves out, but the mountain has claimed a bunch of victims there, and I suppose, James Whittam, it only takes one lad to get something yeah. wrong, uh, uh, get themselves in a bit of a knot coming up onto the mountain takeoff, yeah. and it can collect another few. Absolutely, well, anywhere really, on any circuit, it, but because we all love Cadwell but because it is quite narrow and because there is 40 of these kids on the grid and because they go at it which we all love the way they do that uh, there is going to be incidents and certainly when you've got a, tr a fairly narrow track like Cadwell uh, it's dead easy for a little bit of an incident to turn into a big one you know and people to get hooked up together four bikes involved in that incident at, uh, at the mountain We've got number 13 there, the team Tinkler's Yamaha of Jake Newstead waiting to restart. The young man who's uh, who's at mother's side of the family, Tinkler. 77 years they've had a motorcycle yep. business and it's uh, the biggest uh, Yamaha dealership in East Anglia. So uh, number 13, Newstead calmly awaiting the restart uh, in the general chaos and confusion. Do, will they need to do anything like top up fuel tanks James or yeah. will everything be pretty much ready to go as it is pretty much ready to go they might want to top up fuel tanks it depends how whether they go for a full restart of the original distance or whether they go for knocking a couple of laps off whatever they can do that uh, so it depends how many laps it'll go but that's really the only thing you would do tyres weren't worn enough to, to think about swapping tyres you know I think topping the tank up is possibly the only thing they'd do so here we are with the awaiting a restart there. Look at this, everybody, uh, that's uh, Dan Kinlock, everybody getting themselves cleaned up and ready to go again because, of course, you've got to remain fairly single-minded and purposeful here, James. You've got to let your concentration wander too much no. as you uh, prepare for the restart. Jonathan Lodge there with a set of new leathers. Must well, have been I've, raiding the shop. They've been raiding Earnshaw's <laughs> motorcycles, I think, the clothing department. I tell you what, they'll need a few boxes of personal to look after them, James. Yeah, they, they won't they stay looking that like that for long, I don't think, with John Hope. There's a number 44, David Pierce from Onken on the MWR Team Green Kawasaki. And uh, these guys, there's, there's Hegarty, Hego on his back, Hego racing. He nearly wiped me out when it, rushing out for his... Uh, for, to get back in for qualification. Now, excuse me, young man, just you a bit more careful yeah, with well, pedestrians on that bike. I, I would say you probably deserved it myself. Really? There's Johnny <laughs> Blackshaw, the uh, Northumbria University student from Newcastle has just passed through picture. He'll turn 20 uh, next week. And this is number 31, Greg James from Tony Pandy. Great name, isn't it? On the where? gtsuperbikes.com Kawasaki. From where? Tony Pandy in Where Wales. Where is it? Oh, in Wales. All oh, right. Okay. I know it sounds like something off a, a children's BBC programme, but apparently it's a real place. Next door to Camberwick Green, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we waited. There's one of the AG uh, Suzuki's. That's number five, Josh Wainwright from Sidcup, who's really been qualifying well in the last couple of rounds. So we're, at the moment, we're going to take a. What's going to happen? We're going to have a restart of the 600cc super stock race. So uh, in the meantime, we'll take a quick break. Please join us again in a few minutes. The rider died after a collision at the British Superbikes Championship meeting at Cadwell Park. He was one of several riders involved in the incident, which took place on the mountain section of the track during the Metzler National Superstock 600 race this afternoon. Ben Gortry was initially raced from the track by medical teams. The rider from Southport had been competing for the MWR Kawasaki team. He was then taken to hospital by air ambulance with multiple injuries. Race organisers have described the incident as a tragic and freak accident. 
Police and health and safety officials are now investigating how the death came to pass amid one of the busiest days of the year for Cadwell Park.